everyone, Kathy Lean here. This week we are going to talk about the US dollar Japanese yen currency pair, which happens to be on a tear. This is the second most actively traded currency pair right behind Euro dollar. According to Bank of International Settlements, more than 13% of all FX trading volume is in dollar yen, compared to 27% in the Euro dollar. For the most part, dollar yen responds primarily to what's happening to the US dollar whether the market is bullish or bearish U.S. dollars, whether U.S. data is good or bad, and what the Federal Reserve may be doing in regards to or doing or thinking in regards to monetary policy. Now, occasionally, Japanese data or comments from Japanese officials will move the yen part of the dollar-yen pair, but that is rare and usually fleeting. And if there's a reaction, this means that it probably won't last. In fact, this happened on Tuesday. Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda described the yen's move as rapid, somewhat rapid, joining a chorus of policymakers who have warned that the sharp fall in the currency could hurt the country's import-reliant economy. As you can see in this 15-minute chart of dollar yen, it dropped sharply about 40 pips and then snapped right back. Now, unlike other parts of the world, low inflation and slow growth has prevented any meaningful changes up or down in monetary policy for Japan, which is why Japan and Japanese yen doesn't really respond too much to Japanese event risk, Japanese economic data, or comments from Japanese officials, including the Bank of Japan monetary policy announcement. So if Japanese developments don't move dollar yen, what does? It's number one, risk on. If we have a market where investors um, are optimistic and they're willing to take on risk, typically that is positive for dollar yen. Or dollar yen will move in a risk off environment, meaning that you know stocks are selling off, investors are nervous, they're worried about um, you know the Russian invasion or one thing or the other, and stocks fall aggressively. Dollar yen will typically move lower as well. Dollar yen also moves on U.S. yields. U.S. stocks, and U.S. data. Now with that in mind, I'd like to share with you three tips for trading dollar yen. Tip number one, dollar yen can sit dormant for days and then move wildly. In this dollar yen chart, I've circled the periods of dormant range trading, which can last for a very long time, months as you can see here. But when dollar yen breaks out, the move can be monstrous. Tip number two, dollar yen and the correlation with the Dow. This means that when stocks are selling off, traditionally, we see weakness in dollar yen. And when stocks are soaring, traditionally, this is positive for dollar yen. In this daily chart of dollar yen, the orange line is the Dow and the candles are dollar yen. And you can see that for the most part, they move in lockstep. The relationship is also quite clear on the hourly chart, where on an intraday basis, we can also see these two instruments moving in the same direction. Tip number three, dollar yen and U.S. 10-year yield correlation. The strongest correlation that dollar yen has is with the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield. Just look at this chart. They are near mirror images of each other. This is why I am always talking about looking at the 10-year yields, not only for trading dollar yen, but the yen crosses in general. On the daily chart and on this one-hour intraday chart, you can see how important this relationship is for dollar yen. So I hope you find these tips valuable. I have a video on your dollar trading tips that you can find right in this description below. Ultimately, if you are trading dollar yen, watch the Dow, watch yields, and ride those breakouts because fundamentals matter. If you want to learn how to combine fundamentals with technicals to trade, check out my site, bkforex.com.